I woke up after sleeping pretty good. For a few hours, I felt wonderful. Then I started getting all fucking weird feeling. All my tingles all over my arms and shit are going crazy. I keep having the ear fucking pressure popping thing. It occurs when it feels like somebody's beaming the shit out of your ass. And I just can't get my brain to be able to function and think. You know how your brain can be all foggy? You just cannot fucking think. That's how I feel. I'm trying to shake and shake and like shake it off, but I can't. I can't fucking do it. Or I have not yet. I'm not saying I can't do anything. I'm saying it hasn't happened yet. I had this weird ass dream about some place I'd never seen before. That was like in some weird something to begin with, and then it was like a direct diagonal across the field through a tree, like where you had to like walk through. Tree. It was very weird. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but it, it felt like I was going towards I-10. Like I was going to pop up on like Baytown and I-10 from the south somewhere. I don't know what that has to do with other than all the imagery of remembering seeing it stands out. I think we're supposed to cook some roast today. Trying to find the piece parts to the thing to cook it in. Not sure where nothing's at. Just mental blank. Need to go to the store. And that's probably the furthest fucking thing down the list, but it, I needs to. It can be so difficult just to go to the fucking corner store, I swear to God. For whatever reason, there's people that come here. Probably could be like, "Hey, grab me this and that." They don't talk to me. I don't know why I can't get the the clue out there to make use of this feature of the reality, just in a pinch or something. Not really gonna happen. Didn't seem to be. Can't get synced up and co-opted right with the whatever the fucking mind of home is. It's fighting this like a battle for so long. I'm so tired. So fucking tired. And then on top of injury and insult, while being like whatever, I'm, I'm working on it and getting through it. You can see it in my eyes. I'm like, during this is going on, it's been the discovery of all these maybe fake people, maybe not, on the intro web. I like talking to people, I do. Find another place to find them, and it's weird. Because I, I, but you just don't know if you're even dealing with humans. You know, am I talking to people or am I talking to Jackass Matt in Philadelphia? Jackass Matt, who his last video, not Feather, no, 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 Mr. Quantum Consciousness Matt, he managed to touch every fucking thing. I had sit out of my own mouth from the Diogony, Einstein, weird little shit that just seems a little too specific. Fuck it, whatever. But I'm not the proponent of the reality. I'm not steering the boat. It's a different boat. But I guess you could say from one asshole vantage point and in a way to shake up just correctly the other side of the fence, it the way he said it, for you to have some weird window into 
my world or my experience, which is creepy. It really is. The fact that it's always creepy. I don't know if that's hardened the resolve. Give a shit. But, you know, then again, these people exhale a, a, a breath of smoke. He doesn't even know. That version doesn't even know that this motherfucker doesn't smoke. So, half his armaments in like the Persona quest in the very odd, sophisticated strike on one's person wasn't up to date. And, you know, I like that. It's great. Because actually, whatever is the opponent or the combative element of the reality will always infer something about the inside state of the person that they're not able to see. They have to draw the inference. And they always have this uh, clear belief to break down and do you harm by, uh, you know, aggressively gaslighting the shit out of you. Gives a shit. I just could, and that does just go to show that your personal value, whatever you got going on, your power exists. This place, whatever it is, fucks with it because it has to. It needs something. It needs something. Now I'm gonna change modus operandi or feel lesser of my own self. Just because some fucking jackass would insinuate or in, or have me believe that. Because actually I don't. I don't find myself fully satisfied with the world in the current state it is. I'm doing what I can to change it. So what? It's going to be a little minor adjustments every fucking day. This is the path I've taken. We get where I'm after. But, you know, just don't let them, uh, don't let them fucking sell you some belief in you. I don't know what it is about personal power or truth and freedom that elicits such a violent attack from the weirdest places. And it does, too. It does. They don't want you. See, once they break you of the habit, because you got shot collar on then usually by that point in time they've got you you're you're a putty you know you can never yield to that being a warrior is never yielding to that you know and always be mindful of the other person they're being a dick and attacking you has nothing to do with your ability to still overcome with good and not perceive them as you know a strange compound mix of a human and some sort of spirit driven spirit driven soul maybe they're not good maybe they people have that access to that you address that by exercising it and you address the human by helping them discover who they are